Hi everybody, Doug White here from Ford Performance Parts up in Dearborn, Michigan with Justin Pollock, Formula D sensation, also known as JTP to his friends and fans around the world. Justin, good to have you. Hey, thanks for having me. And we have a great experience today. We're going to tear down Justin's competition engine. This thing has been used and abused. I personally experienced it. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what this thing's all about. Justin, what have you done to this thing? Well, we started out with the uh, Ford Performance Parts uh, crate engine, the Illuminator. And uh, it's not only just an NA, it's, it's actually boosted as well. So we put it through a lot more stress than I think the, the normal user would. This thing's got 18 events on it, a full uh, eight rounds of competition and, and then another 10 round, 10 demos and exhibitions uh, throughout the year as well. And you've experienced it. Obviously, it's, uh, I throw the beat down on this thing. And you know, we're, we're gonna find out how this thing fared after all that, um, all that use this, this last year. Fantastic. Well, let's take a look at some of the stuff you've done with this car. Jimmy Ronzello, who's a prototype engine technician here at our engine lab. And if anyone knows coyotes, it's Jimmy. He's been around since day one of the coyote, and he's going to tear this engine down for us. Justin, good to see you. As of late, I've been working at this facility in the rebuild area, working with Ron and um, taking apart mostly the V8s and reassemble. As it stands in the natural aspirated state, I don't think there's much out there that can beat it, arguably, for what it is, uh, cost wise and horsepower wise. Um, and then you take a naturally aspirated engine and you bolt a supercharger on it, which is going to make an honest 500 more horsepower. I mean, come on. Can't go wrong. So we're going to see just how strong this illuminator was when you go and tear it down. Yeah, and we'll get it apart. We'll get it apart and see what we can find wrong. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Justin's looking forward to getting his hands dirty. So. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll go ahead and get started. What do you say? I think the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, zip this. Uh, looks like we got our uh, throttle body in the way. So we're going to get him knocked out of the way real quick so we can get the intake manifold off. Hey, man, these are torque to spec fingers right here. Okay, next we'll get these lifting eyes out the way. Got an oversized damper on there. Yeah. Got that 15% to get the boost. Ah, uh, so we're not allowed that in the race. Yeah, our in our they series. Either, now they are. It's run, run what you've done oh, yeah. with us. I we see. just have a, a tire to weight limit uh, rule. That's that and some uh, some chassis limitations on what we can do with the chassis. But okay, great. Engine wise, it's it's run what you've done. Torque the spec with my fingers right here. I got oh, it. Oh man, you are a tough guy. Hey, I may live in California, but I'm from Michigan. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and lock up that plywood so that I can pull on this damper. This is the first time I've ever uh, had to tear one of these down. Normally really? I just... Uh, it's only plugs and uh, injectors are the only oh, I things. I thought it was only key and throttle. <laughs> okay, I'll let you peel it off there. Just grab it by the horns up top here and kind of peel it backwards and hopefully we got all the bolts out. From the phasers? Yep. That's it. Just mm. set it up here somewhere. I'll tell you what, I mean, I'm from the old school where we used a single cam in the middle <laughs> and one little chain. And when I first started seeing this stuff, I thought, no way, not for me. But uh, now we're running them over 8,500 RPM and having lots of fun and they're not breaking. Yeah. 
So there's, that's the biggest thing. There's definitely a lot of stuff going on in here, but yeah, I mean, but for it, whatever reason, it works. It, it works and it works well. I mean, for the displacement that it has, it has a lot of power output. Okay, and just, just easy pressure, straight down, slowly, and you're going to bleed all the oil out of that uh, cylinder. Okay. Check, mm. check out these dirty fingers for you uh, Justin fans. He proves that he actually works on the thing. I'm unbelievable. Yeah. Maybe under only under camera, but I don't know. No, no baby, <laughs> no, no baby soft hands here. <laughs> you don't want the cam to come off um, on yeah. an angle in such a way that it would bind. No catawampus coming off. No catawampus going on, right? Uh, next thing we want to do is break loose the cylinder head bolts. Oh. Ah. Blue water left on that side. Yeah. Drop the oil pan straight down. Okay, so at this point, um, we will we're gonna dump it over anyway. So, so this is an illuminator, so it has f all forged internals, correct? Well, correct. Um, but quite honestly, um, really don't matter if you got an F one hundred and fifty or a Mustang GT, Coyote. Coyote stock, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. um, they all use a forged steel crankshaft. Okay. As you can see, it's got you know iron main caps with four bolts and side bolts and a deep skirt block, making for a very robust lower end. Yeah, so it's absolutely. real secure. Uh, Ford uh, for this illuminator engine added a aftermarket manly rod with ARP bolts. Nice. Uh, that in combination with a forged Mala piston, hard to beat. Looks great. Bearings look great. I can't believe that you have um, that many events. I think you're lying. Nope, not. I don't lie. <laughs> Ain't got time to lie. That is pretty legit, though. <laughs> All right, it looks good. It really, really looks what, good. Uh, which cylinder was this one? Number one, I believe it. And, and we used to go through a clutch every round uh, when we were running the uh, the 410 engines that we used to run. So it's it's just it's a very simple number three setup that is very effective. Very good. I'm blown away with how good these things look. I mean, even the hone on the cylinder walls look great. They say uh, there's no replacement for displacement, but yeah. I mean, a couple cam a couple extra cams, it's, it's, a, it's a replacement. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get that oil pump off there next. So is this a standard oil pump or is this upgraded? Well, it appears that? to be a standard oil pump if you were to look at it. Um, it's cast as a standard uh, five liter Mustang GT pump. However, this is a pump that has billet gears that okay. they developed for the Cobra Jet program. So they're using it on the Illuminator. All right, well, we're just about there. We need to get the rear retainer off and get the crank out of it and we're good to go. Just kind of, once you break the silicone, you just kind of got to follow it along. silicone around the outer edge there. The center of that plate with the center of the crank. So now you got a full seal, goes on, boom. Perfectly it's not going to leak. Yeah. Really helps with a stick shift guy. You don't want oil in your clutch. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, so now we're good to go as far as um, uh, getting these main bolts broke loose. So we'll get our big, big mambo jumbo uh, uh, breaker bar with the ratchet set up. And uh, you, got a, the same. you got a 15 there. So you, yeah, the center ones are all 15. So you can break those loose. I can get the smaller one going and uh, start loosening the, uh, the, both the side bolts. You can clearly see the rod journals are exposed now and they look, they look like new. Oh yeah. I can get that one. And the caps are all numbered already, so we're good to go. And that'll be it. So, I mean, did you use a Ford processor, or what, what, what happened? Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to stick with the Ford uh, line up there, so we actually utilized the, uh, the controls pack that you guys offer for these crate engines. And obviously, you can get the controls pack, stick it on one of these engines, throw a transmission behind it, and, and off you go. Obviously, you guys even offer like a full uh, a power pack that offers that. 
Um, but I did go with a control spec. I didn't want to go with an aftermarket ECU. I wanted to just try to use, uh, utilize another Ford component there. And obviously, since we have the supercharger, we're running, uh, you know, ethanol fuel. Uh, bigger injectors, okay. uh, a lot of boost. Um, it's not the factory calibration. So okay. we did do an aftermarket calibration. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time on it to to get the, the power output where okay. we wanted it. So the way I understand it then, essentially your car, even though it's a new Mustang, but it's really a competition car. Yeah, absolutely. So it's built specifically for this purpose, which means, I mean, the wiring in the car was all out and everything, which tells me that you can really put an engine like this with a control pack in anything, like in a anything. street rod or, Absolutely. or whatever you I mean, want. You could stick this thing in a 65 Mustang, you could stick it in a, a 60 okay, Galaxy Okay, so if somebody Starliner. wanted to go drifting with a 61 Falcon, they could do the suspension and they could have exactly what you have. You can put this okay, exact cool. engine platform Yeah, I didn't realize there. that, that's yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is, and this is a great like resto mod uh, option, you know. Um, it has, it's basically turnkey out of the box if you want it to be, or you can get a little wild with it um, and, and not have a full unicorn, but you can Thousand have- Thousand horsepower, is that what you said earlier? Yeah. Wow. So, okay. and, and, and that's, you could ab absolutely put that in any street car if you wanted to. Probably not in California, <laughs> but you okay. could do it here in Michigan. All right, great. Thanks Thank you, Thank right, you for all the education oh, on this too. No problem. I really So we got the engine all torn down. We're gonna inspect it with the uh, Coyote engineer here at Ford Performance, uh, Ron Eworth. Justin, great to see you. Thanks great for coming. Yeah. We got the lower bearings here. Look great. I mean, these these look so good that uh, that really you could throw this crank and bearings back in the engine and go. If we take a look at the oil pump, um, on the illuminator engine we put a billet set of gears in the pump, and uh, what that does is gives us gives us a lot more robustness over the powdered gears that come in the production pump. Um, we get this pump directly from the production supplier, so that we have the best quality that we can get and they produce this pump for us with this billet steel gear set. This billet gear set looks terrific. No cracks, no wear, case looks good. Again, we could, we could throw this pump back together and we could put it back in the engine. The other key feature in the Illuminator engine are the pistons and rods. So we um, we go to a manly H-beam rod and a Mala 11 to 1 forged piston. Looking at the pistons, the skirts are coated for wear and there's virtually, abs there's virtually no wear at all on the skirts. A little bit of carbon buildup, but that's normal, especially considering the usage of JTP's engine. Ring pack spins nice and free. Looking at the rod bearings, they look great. I'd be comfortable in putting these back in the engine as well. Um, cylinder head, the deck face looks great. We've got no signs of uh, combustion outside the chamber at all. Valve that's normal staining from the fuel that JTP uses. But all in all looks great. Cam journals, super clean, no scratching, no wear. We can take a look at the uh, You can look at the VCT uh, sprocket teeth, looking for wear on the driven and drive side of the gears. Looks really, really good. It's 
primary chain. No unusual wear here. Considering the high RPM and high loads, let's take a look at the camshafts. Again, we look at the journals. They're super clean. We look at the lobes for any abnormal wear. It really looks great. Look at the thrust walls. And considering the severe duty that he's put this engine through, um, this engine really looks terrific. And definitely something we're proud of here at Ford Performance. You know, the teardown of this engine is a great validation of, of our Illuminator line. It gives us confidence in what we're providing to the customer, um, especially considering the extreme real world usage that JTP puts this engine through. It's a true testament to, to Ford Performance and what we want to provide our Ford Performance customers.